Here is a lady who has got so much pain in her lower back. But of God has touched her. That is Sister Janet from Botswana. She has come with pain in the lower back. Pain in the joints, due to lumbar spondylosis and arthritis. Now watch her. She's being driven towards her healing. Woman, rise up. You are free. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Lady Jeanette from USA was made a new creature after the prayer by the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. The following morning, she came back to testify as you can witness. My name is uh, Janet Spivey. I come from Botswana, 50%. I come from US. 50%. I came to the Kakande Ministries um, to seek the face of God. I've been having some pains uh, for quite a long time. Uh, by the way, I'm almost 70 years now. Since 1984, it's almost like 40 years now with uh, pains on my back, lower back, and also the abdominal pains. The abdominal pains, I, I mean, they've been there for a long time. And I treated like that now, I would say, my friends, because they are always with me. And uh, it had always been very tough. And uh, the back pains also, they had uh, been there for quite, because I'm a sportswoman, and uh, I've been a tennis player for quite some time, uh, since I was a young girl. And uh, it had been very difficult. I've been, you know, Having injuries after injuries, fractured my bones and uh, ligaments. But I would still, you know, continue doing it until uh, about um, uh, two years ago. I started taking some pills, painkillers, uh, paracetamol, just to calm my body down. So I would take those uh, pills all the time. This is a um, medical report uh, from my doctor. Here on the screen, we are looking at this medical report from Adventist Health Services Clinic there in Botswana. It's a medical report for Lady Janet Matsi Spivey. Her doctor is writing to inform us that Mrs. Spivey has been attending this medical clinic since the year 2011, and she has been treated over several ailments, among which is this diagnosis of lumbar spondylosis with disc prolapse at L5 stroke S1, together with right hip osteoarthritis, right elbow tendinosis, and left knee osteoarthritis. So in spite of the treatment for all this long period of time, she still has been feeling so much pain all this being confirmed by Dr. Jemuel Abe Frias, the doctor of medicine. So when I came here, I was so privileged to be in the, on the prayer line. And um, that was on Saturday when a prophet uh, prayed uh, for me. And I looked into his eyes and uh, he touched my head. When I, he touched me, I felt like electric shock on my head. And then I moved uh, towards him to face him. And he touched on my stomach here. And that's when I fell down. And I heard him saying, woman, you are free. Get up. And I got up. And then I started praising God for the touch and the healing. When I was there, we, I felt like going to, to the bathroom. And I went to the bathroom by God's grace and I uh, relieved myself because since I arrived on Friday, I had not been to the bathroom. 
and I did manage to go to the bathroom. That was the first miracle that I... <laughs> and usually when I sit on the, on the chair, I would sit on a cushion just to uh, try to relieve pain on my waist. And since I got here, I even left the, I brought the cushion with me and I didn't bring it to church because I now can sit on the chair. And um, now I can sit, you see. And God is good. And uh, the other thing, I had a problem with my feet. As I say that um, uh, I jog and I play tennis. Those are the ones that were really like bothering me because uh, those, and also that's why I was taking uh, painkillers all the time. Um, it had always been a problem to get up out of the bed at night, when I want to go to the bathroom, I have to sit first and ask if I could manage to walk to the bathroom. And even when I sit on the chair for a long time to get up, my feet would be so hurting, so painful. So yesterday, um, after the prayer, I was surprised that I was able to wear my shoes the whole day walking around, and even today, I mean, I would have taken them off. Um, I managed to walk around with my shoes on, and I didn't have any pain, and I even called my daughter and tell her, you know what, my feet are really good, I feel so good, my, they are not, uh, I'm not feeling any pains at all. And I can walk, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus, thank you. Um, so I was telling my daughter that my feet, they, are, they feel so calm, cold, and, you know, I'm not feeling any pain at all. And um, now... I want to tell my tennis uh, buddies back home that I'm coming for them. <laughs> they will know better when I come from here. Yes, so I wanna thank God for the miracle, uh, for healing me, and also to thank uh, Prophet Samuel Kakande for praying for me and also for welcoming us and also to thank all the ushers that have been taking care of us. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. And all the glory goes to God. Thank you, Lord. I can now lift. Because I'm a luggage person, I can lift this. I'm always carrying. <laughs> And I also can run. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, I thank you, Jesus, for everything that you have done for, for me. And my encouragement right now is for you who have come here with pains or whatever problems that this is where we are getting our healing. This is where we are getting our peace. You are going to get yours in Jesus' name. I feel so good. I don't even feel my age. So I thank God. I really thank God for everything. Thank you, Jesus. What I can tell my people in the U.S. and also in Botswana is that God is always with you. 
Don't run away from him, run to him, and he will give you your heart desires. You'll get healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Can I see God glory? Let's go.